Hello, guys. Good evening. Hi, Maurice. Hi, Claudia. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good evening. How do you feel? How about your day? Was good? So-so. Mm, So-so. Okay, I imagine that it was tiring. I... I... <sighs> Mm -hmm. A bug entered in my eye. But you feel good? No. Mm, I have irritated and I can, I, I still see even the wing. Yes. Oh my God, Claudia. Okay. And that was in the morning or in the afternoon? At noon. At noon. I was, yeah. lunch. I, I was having lunch. Okay. All right, but did you go uh, to buy something? Only uh, some drops. Yes, only that. Okay. But the bug is, is is still there. Okay, Claudia. I hope you get better. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, what about you, Maurice? I'm fine. You're fine. My day, yeah, my day is. Yes. yes. Very busy. It was very busy, very busy. yes. Yeah. yeah, I know. And it is probably busier because, you know, next week, everybody goes on vacation, right? So you need to probably complete different things, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. guys. So, well, we are going to start with today's class. Good evening. Okay, welcome once again. So today we are going to make a review about past models and we are going to still cover the, the one that we didn't cover yesterday. Okay, so we have a speaking time, we have grammar quiz, listening quiz, and we have at the end a practice of correcting mistakes. Okay, so we're going to start and we're going to start with the warm up. Okay, so this warm up is say the color, not the word. Okay, so you need to say the color, but not the word. As you can see, it says red, but it is green. So you need to say green, green, orange, blue, black, red, eh, light blue, green, green, orange, yellow this one purple and like that okay yeah we need to try to to say the color but not the word okay so let's see um well claudia uh would you be able to to see uh, i mean yes it's not uncomfortable no okay no, no, no. all right okay so go claudia green orange is that orange Yes. 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 Uh, blue, black, red, light baby blue, blue yeah. and light. Yeah. Uh, red, red, orange, yellow, purple, blue, red, orange, orange, pink, uh, gray, <laughs> black, red. Uh, Green, green, <laughs> yes, okay, all right, yes, purple, pink, yellow, uh -huh. yellow, red, uh, light blue, blue, red, black, brown, ah, brown, uh, green, red, green, gel, <laughs> yellow, yeah. orange, pink. Blue, blue, pink, green, purple, purple, red, <laughs> yellow, green, orange, purple. Okay, very good. Okay, yes. Okay, well done. Okay, Maris, can you please yeah. try? Okay. Okay, I try. Green, orange, uh, blue, uh, black. Red, light blue, green, green, orange, yellow, uh, purple, blue, uh, green, yellow, orange, 
Okay. Uh, uh, red. Pink. 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 <laughs> uh, gray. Yes. Uh, black. Red. Green. Purple. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, orange. Yellow. Red. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yellow. <laughs> A uh, red, uh, light, light mm -hmm. blue, yes. blue, uh, red, uh, brown, mm -hmm. green, red, green, yellow, orange, uh, pink, purple, pink, mm, blue, blue. Uh, pink, green, purple, purple, brown, yellow, red, green, red, 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 okay, uh, purple, green, okay. uh, orange, purple. purple, okay, thank you, very good, Maris, okay, well done, uh, Juan Jose, can you please try? Okay. Green, brown or orange, blue, black, red, light blue, green, green, brown, yellow, uh, purple, mm -hmm. blue, green, orange, orange. Purple, mm -hmm. uh, gris, I don't know how to say Gray, gray. Gray, <laughs> black, mm -hmm. red, green, purple, yellow, red, light blue, mm -hmm. blue, red, brown, green, red, Green, yellow, orange, purple, blue, mm -hmm. blue, purple, green, blue, or purple, okay. purple, purple, red, yellow, green, orange, purple, okay. or, or, or blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one is purple. Okay, purple. Yes, okay. that one is purple. Okay, guys, very good. Uh, somebody else that wants to try? Alguien más? Que quiera intentarlo? No? Okay, guys, let's move. All right, let's move. So we're going to start by covering, guys, uh, and we're going to make a review. Okay, we're going to make a review about the things that we covered yesterday. So um, let me see. Uh, Juan Jose, can you please help us reading could have, Emerson should have, and Bernardo would have. And please, uh, the title, uh, Juan Jose, okay? You start. Can you zoom in, please, teacher? Oh, yes. Give me one second. Can you see it better? Yes. Okay. Models of lost opportunities. Models of last opportunity show something that almost happened, but didn't to use them. Add the past participle verb after the models. You can also use not for a negative sentence. Yes. Could have. Cool is one of the models in the past that indicates possibility or polite request. Okay. I could have applied for the job, but I didn't want to. Okay. Show have, should have, should have means something will have been a great decision or action, however. You didn't do it. Mm -hmm. I shall have st 
studied for the test mm -hmm. will have will have is to discuss something you wanted to do but didn't i wouldn't have been there but you didn't call me thank you all right yes guys so in this case we have could have should have and would have but as you see right here we are not using those expressions with if that means that we can use the same structure but to express different uh, thoughts and it is not necessary for us to add if see ¿Sí? se recuerda ayer estábamos viendo con if pero no es que sea mandatorio que usted lo tiene que utilizar con if y porque es mandatorio no okay for example we have could have and we have i could have applied for the job, but I didn't want to. Yo pude haber aplicado a ese trabajo, pero no quise. I didn't want to. No lo quise. Yeah. Should have. I should have studied for the test. Yo debí haber estudiado para el examen. Would have. I would have been there, but you didn't call me. Yo debería haber estado ahí. Okay, pero tú no me llamas. Uh -huh. So we have would have, should have, and would have. Yeah, those are the three structures that we need to uh, learn how to use. Yeah. Do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas, dudas hasta aquí? Uh -huh. Dudas o preguntas? No? All right. Um, then, with a would have, we can say, yo habría. I would have been. Yo habría estado. Ahí, there. Yo habría estado ahí. Pero no me llamas. Yo habría. Uh -huh. Yeah. He estado ahí, pero tú no me llamas. Yeah. Would have. Habría. Yeah. So, let's move. So now, uh, let's mention about could have, that it means that something was possible in the past, but it didn't happen. Algo fue posible en el pasado, pero no sucedió, guys, right? So, for example, I could have gone directly to college. Yeah. I could have gone directly to college, but I decided to travel for a year. Yo podría haber ido. De una vez a la universidad, to college, yeah. Pero ¿qué pasó? But I decided to travel for a year. Me decidí tomarme un año sabático, básicamente, right? Decidí viajar por un año. He couldn't have seen me. Él no podría haberme visto. Si ¿Sí se fija que no es necesario, pero en ocasiones es muy importante que pongamos más idea porque si no la idea queda bien vaga. ¿Sí? He couldn't have seen me. Él no podría haberme visto. ¿Pero a dónde? ¿Por qué? ¿De qué está hablando? Right? Por eso es que agregamos más ideas como la primera. 
I could have gone directly to college, but I decided to travel for a year. He couldn't have seen me. Él no podría haberme visto. Agreguemos algún contexto. He couldn't have seen me. Because I was not there. No podría haberme visto porque no estuve ahí. Ok. U otro contexto. Ok. Aquí es de que usted imagine. Use su imaginación. He couldn't have seen me because I didn't go to the party. He couldn't have seen me because I was sick and I stay at home. Uh -huh. Yeah. So then we also have number three. You could have told me about tomorrow's exam. Tú me podrías haber dicho acerca del examen de mañana. You could have told me about tomorrow's meeting. Could have. Ok. Podrías haber. Do you have doubts? Tienen dudas, tienen preguntas. Do you have any questions? If not, create one sentence. Créeme una oración y me la manda al chat. Con could have. Could have. Ok. Could have. I'll give you three minutes. Ok. Um, let me see, guys. Maurice, um, the verb, yeah. el verbo, tiene que estar en pasado participio. Marcela could have gone to the trip, but she was sick. Yes, and Marcela, le faltó nada más. Uh, Marcela could have gone to the trip. To the, T-H-E. And let me see. Norma. Okay, guys. 
I could have studied English years ago. Okay. Um, some years ago, but I always put it off. Yes, Pablo. She could have gone abroad. Ella podría haber ido. Yes, very good, Claudia. She could have. Uh, Juan José. Okay. Pasado participio de run. I don't know, teacher. Okay, you don't remember? Um, okay, guys, what is the past participle de run? You could have seen. Run. Run. Run, run, run. El es como R-U-N. Okay, let me see. Okay. You could have seen near, mm -hmm. you could have seen near, near the park, near the park. Um, you could have driven a car, but it, I think, que falta contexto. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pero, pero se vendió. Probably. Más bien lo vendí. ¿Cómo podría ser? Ah, ok. But I, but I, uh -huh. sold it. But I, el sujeto tiene que ser, pero yo lo vendí. Uh -huh. Sold it. Sold it. Sí. Ah, ok. All right, Tatiana. Okay, sold it. All right, guys. Very good. Um, she could have remembered the last say. Yes, he could have sent the letter to her, but he was late. But he was late to the post. Probably, but but he. But he saw the post late, probably. He could have sent the letter to her. Or, but he was late for, for the post, probably, the preposition, okay? Okay, guys. Okay, very good. I think that we are uh, probably getting the idea, okay? Yeah. So now, um, let's move and let's continue with would have, yeah? Would have is used to show that you wanted to do something in the past, but you couldn't. I would have called. Yo habría llamado. But there was no phone service. Pero no había servicio telefónico. I would have loaned you the money. Yo te habría prestado el dinero. But I didn't have any. No tenía nada. Okay. En number three, usamos la estructura con if, si se fija. If I had known they were vegetarians, I would have made a salad. Si yo hubiese sabido que ellos eran vegetarianos, yo habría hecho una ensalada. Would have habría. Y siempre va seguido del past participle. Always, siempre. Porque son verbos modales en pasado. Okay. Siempre va a llevar el, pas el pasado participio. Siempre. 
Yeah. Would have. Yes, guys. All right. Do you have any doubt? If not, please, the same thing. Lo mismo. Cree una oración con would have. Recuerde que es habría. Cree una oración y me la manda al chat. I'll give you three minutes as well, okay? Three minutes. Would have, habría. Okay. I will have play soccer. Um S O C C E R. I will have play Yo habría jugado football ayer. Uh -huh. But I worked. Eh, um, okay, but I worked. But I worked. ¿Cómo se dice? Um, Todo el día puede decir, but I work all day. Okay. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, let me see, Carla. I will have, okay. It in pizza, but my friend wanted to, oh, but my friend wanted to eat. Hamburgers. Uh -huh. Maria will have bought the new car last year, but she mm. didn't save save money. Yes, Emerson. Pablo, she will have been my girlfriend, but she chose my friend. Yes, Pablo. Okay, they will have bought. If you had asked me. Mm, okay, Mauricio. Ahí le falta como la idea. They would have bought el que hubieran comprado ellos. Okay. I would have built a ship, but I spent the money. Okay, Juan Jose. Yes, very good. If they wouldn't have spent the money, they would have better chill. Perfect. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Well done. Okay, so you see, this one is abría. Yeah. All right, now let's continue. And let's finish with the review about should have. Uh, Maurice, can you please help us reading this, all of this? All. all. Yeah. To have, to have a mean that something did not happen, but we wish it had happened, we use should have to talk about past mistakes. I was so worried about you, you should have a call. I, I'm sorry that I'm late for work. I should 
have woken, woken up early. They should have brought music to the party. We should have talked during the lesson. Thank you. Okay, guys, should have means that something didn't happen. Okay, yeah. So this one is a, a debi haber, debiste haber, depende del sujeto, right? So I was so worried about you. I was so worried about you. Estaba muy preocupada por ti. You should have called. Debiste haber llamado. I'm sorry that I'm late for work. I should have woken up earlier. Me debí que haber levantado temprano, más temprano. Me debí haber levantado más temprano. I should have woken up earlier. Uh -huh. Or in negative, which is the last one. We shouldn't have talked during the lesson. Nosotros no debimos haber hablado durante la clase. Lesson, class, okay. All right, guys. The same thing, if you don't have any question, si no tienen preguntas, please create a sentence, pero esta vez que no se le escape el verbo, okay? El verbo ni los complementos, okay? Create one sentence. We should have. Okay. We should have both snacks for the trip. Yes, Fernando. I could put away. <laughs> okay, Claudia. <laughs> All right. They should have arrived some hours ago, all they found traffic. Excellent. Yes, Pablo. We should have studied. Oh, Juan Jose. We should have studied for the English exam. For. We shouldn't. Mm, okay, Maris. Yeah, teacher. See, yeah, I'm, uh, I have, have. You know, you know, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. Okay, we shouldn't have copied. Excellent. Very good, Morris. Okay, guys. She should have done. Um, in this case, instead of many, we are going to use much because it's not countable right now. 
he was he was shown his fruit. He was being we should Um, Emerson probably he was showing, showing ing, okay, showing. Okay, miss. So. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, guys. Um, no questions, no doubts. No questions, no doubts. No. Okay, so now then let's see. Let's pick the correct phrase to complete the sentence, okay? So number one, it was my fault. It was my fault, all right? I, space, have sent the email. Which one? Shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. Perfect. Yes, very good. What about number two? My mom wanted to make hamburgers for dinner, but my brother wouldn't have eaten. Wouldn't have eaten them. Correct. Pero mi hermano, ¿qué dice? No se las habría comido. Uh -huh. I think I made the wrong decision. I think I made the wrong decision. What? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I made the wrong decision. Jopian, would you have? What would you have done, Jackie? Correct. Porque le dice, yo pienso que tomé una mala decisión. Y le pregunta, what would you have done, Jackie? ¿Qué habrías hecho, Jackie? Yeah. And number four, Monica missed dinner. Max, space. And read the context. Max, space, told her about the change in dinner plans. Would have or should have? Should have. Um, would have? Uh, should. Should. Why? Because it says Monica missed dinner. Dice que Monica se perdió la cena. No asistió. La perdió. No fue. ¿Por qué? Y ahora viene la respuesta. Max should have. Max debería haberle dicho. Acerca de el cambio en los planes. So, guys, you need to take into account the whole context. Tienen que tomar en cuenta todo el contexto. The whole context. Okay. Do you have any question? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Do you have any doubt? No? Okay. Let's move, okay? Now, give me advice, okay? Give me advice about the following hypothetical situations. Hypothetical situations, hi, hypothetical, yeah? What should I have done? ¿Qué debía haber hecho? What should I have done? Okay, number one. Esa es la situación, guys. La primera. A person dropped 
his wallet. But I didn't pick it. Yeah, I didn't pick it up. I just kept walking. What should I have done? So the situation is a person dropped his wallet. What is the meaning of dropped? Dejar caer. Se le cayó. Yeah, se le cayó su billetera. Yeah, but I didn't pick it up. Pick it up, recoger, right? I didn't. I just kept walking. Yo seguí caminando. What should I have done? I should have picked it, pick it up his wallet mm -hmm. and gave him. Okay, very good. I should uh, I should have picked it up and gave it to him. To him. Very good, excellent. Okay, situation number three. Uh, number two, sorry. What should I have done? I saw my neighbor's boyfriend kissing with another girl. What should I have done? I should have taken a rock and dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, no, no, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Okay. Not exactly, but okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I saw my neighbor's boyfriend kissing another girl. What should I have done? Hmm? Nothing, teacher. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I shouldn't have watched that. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have seen that. <laughs> okay. Well, yes, okay, you shouldn't have seen that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, situation number three. My best friend called me five times at midnight, but I didn't take the call because I was too sleepy. I was too sleepy. Está bastante soñolienta, cansada, tenía un montón de sueño. Cuando usted quiera decir, tengo, tengo sueño o tengo mucho sueño, ¿cómo se dice? I am sleepy. I am sleepy. Ok, so, what should I have done in this situation? My best friend called me five times at midnight, but I didn't take the call because I was too sleepy. Uh -huh. What should I have done? Uh -huh. mm, probably on this one, you should have, you should have sent a WhatsApp to her. Yeah, you should have sent a WhatsApp to her and let her know that you were sleeping, that you couldn't take the call because of that. Yeah, yeah, uh, so you do not uh, ignore the call. Uh -huh. uh, shouldn't have a call in the night. 
Okay, so yes, probably my best friend shouldn't have called me at midnight as well, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, guys, so with. Podría high... decir, teacher, perdón, podría yeah. decir, teacher, I should have called her back to know if everything is okay? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. So you see, with those hypothetical situations, you can practice modal verbs, right? So now, uh, let's see. Well, we're going to take the attendance. Give me one second, okay? I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Before continuing. But open the class, guys. Open the class because we are going to create some breakout rooms and you are going to uh, work on some exercises. Okay, so Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Present, Miss. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria Guerrero. Yeah, I saw Claudia. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo. Okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Thank you. <coughs> Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. José Bernardo López. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Yeah, eso Juan. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Janet Granados. Karen. No. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Kenya Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Right, thank you. Eh, Marian Scarlett Rodríguez. Let me see. Marian. Okay. Marina Jancy Sandoval. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Okay, thank you, Nelly. Norma Patricia de Arrué. Norma. No. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Ivón Torres. Present. Thank you, Tatiana. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Eh, okay, thank you, Wendy. Eh, Jonathan Roberto Garcia. Present. Yes, all right. Okay, guys, um, let's continue, okay? Let me see. Chair. Yes? Excuse me, Daisy. Yes. Let me eh, see. Huh? Nuestra compañera Karen, Janet Granados, este, dos días ha tenido problemas de conexión. Lo reportó, pero no, no le han ayudado. Como que la plataforma no le, no le abre. Ok. Eh, la plataforma cuando se quiere conectar a la clase, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Ok. Le dejo ahí el datito para ver si usted nos ayuda. Sí. Eh, déjeme, eh, bueno... No, no se preocupe, yo tengo el nombre de ella, ¿sí? Entonces, gracias. Ok, bye. Listo, gracias. Ok. All right, guys. So let's move and let's work on the following, all right? So you will see that we have some images. So what I need to do is that I need to create one sentence, all right? Imagining, yeah, the situation. For example, for example, on this one, what do you imagine? Why is she tired? Why? But using past models, right? Mm -hmm. For example, she should have what? Drunk enough water. Okay. All right. She should have drunk 
enough water. Yes, ella debió haber debido suficiente agua. Yeah. So then, number two, what happened? Right? Number three, what happened? Number four, what happened? Yeah. Ustedes van a crear la oración utilizando cosas hipotéticas, respondiendo a la pregunta qué pasa en cada imagen. Yeah. Yes. So I will give you around five to eight minutes in order for you to create the sentences. Okay, and then we are going to come back because we are going to continue with this. Okay, so let me see, guys. Okay. Okay, let me see, Karen. I think that you are alone, Pablo. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Let me move you. No, but teacher. Yes. Eh, respetar el participio pasado. Uh, respected. Respected. ED. He should have respect the lawyer, the light. Ya lo copiaste, Carl. Sí. Okay, vamos a la tres. Ahí podríamos poner. You have. You have. You have. You have. Ah. Uh, eh, no ¿Ah? está durmiendo, no sé, debería, eh, él debería descansar. Está triste, algo le sucedió. Es hipotético. Ajá, ok. You should have a... Él debería... Slept. 
eh, descansar más, ¿no? dormir más. Ajá, debería dormir más. Sí, me... El participio de dormir. El participio de dormir, este, Slept. Slept, exactamente. Ajá. Slept, mo, slept. Eh. Y slept. More. More and deny. Mm -hmm. He Number should have four. slept more and deny. Uh -huh. Okay. The last one. Y parece que están peleados, están enojados. They should have talking, talk, no. ¿Cómo se dice hablar? Oh. Y el participio de talk es a... Uh, O resolver su diferencia, por decir algo. They should have... For, for them. Uh, you should... We... They should... Have... For them. ¿Cómo? They, they should have... A torque, torque, you're a torque. Deberían, eh, ellos deberían tener o deberían de hablar. Talk, tú. Ajá, talk. Deberían de hablar. In your house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They should have a talk in your house. Mm -hmm. They should have talk. Uh -huh. in, okay. in their house, in their in their house, in, in their house, in their house. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Let's go to the room. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's see. All right, so um, I want to hear just some ideas, okay? So let's see, what happened on picture number one, guys? What do you have for picture number one? What happened? Hmm? She should have a practice more. Okay, she should have practiced more. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, somebody else? Uh -huh. Picture number one. Any other idea? 
No? Okay. Picture number two. What happened here? Yeah. He would have respect the law. He will have or she will. In this case, he should. Mm, because if we say would have, it means habría. Ah, ah, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mejor debería haber, ¿verdad? Debería. So, uh -huh. okay. so he should have respected the he law. Okay. Yes, very good. Uh -huh. uh, let me see, Juan Jose, what do you have for picture number two? He shouldn't have stolen those jewels. Very good. Okay. And uh, let me see, let me see the... What do you have, Emerson, Jonathan, and Carla, for picture number two? Um, he could have avoided the arrest if if he had paid the loan. The the loan. The loan. The loan. Okay. Yes. That that is very good. Yes. Uh huh. Excellent. Okay. What about number three? What happened on number three? What do you have for picture number three? Let me see. Um, okay, Morris, what do you have for picture number three? Um, he should have slept more in the night. Okay, he should have slept more at night. At night. Uh, uh, very good yes what about a uh, juan jose and your team uh, he should have had a bad day in his job very good yes he should have had a bad day in his job very good and what about you, Emerson, Jonathan, and Carla? What do you have for picture number three? He wouldn't have lost his job. Okay. If, uh -huh. if he hadn't yelled up the up his boss. Okay. Very good. Yeah, I think the same. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, what about number four? What do you have for number four, Emerson, Jonathan, and Carla? Think about it, okay? Think about it, guys. Let me see. Uh, Bernardo, Juan Jose, Marian, and Pablo. Picture number four. Uh, they could have had a discussion. They could have had a discussion. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Um, Morris and Carlos. Picture number four. Mm -hmm. They should have poker in their house. Okay, so they should have talked. Talk. Talked. Talk. Talked. 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 Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. And okay, so Emerson, Jonathan, and Carla. Uh, 
Picture number four. They wouldn't have a divorce if they have a communicated error. Perfect. Yes. Uh -huh. Divorced. Okay. Divorced. Divorced. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, guys, let's move. Okay. So what we're going to do here is that we need to complete the sentences using should have or shouldn't have. Okay. So let's see. The flowers died. I. I could. Okay. Have a weather. Okay. The more often. All right. So I could have watered them more often. Like that? Oh, like that? Yes. Perfect. Number two, I'm really hungry. Hmm? I should have eaten a big breakfast. Excellent. I should have, right, eaten. Okay. Yeah. Yes. A bigger breakfast. Perfect. What about number three? I fell into the water. I should have been more careful. Perfect. Number four, John's father got angry. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have talk. yes told him a lie. Very good. Next one. Um broke. Oh, yeah. Daisy, number five. Um, oh, uh, hello. Yes, I'm broke. I'm broke. I am new car last week. Um, Bye. Okay. I should have, mm -hmm, or I shouldn't. I should have, or I shouldn't, Daisy? I shouldn't. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have bought a new car last week. I'm broke. Stop seeing the name. Yes, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you, Daisy. Well, thank you. Um, all right, so number six. This hotel is terrible. I... Shouldn't have stayed at another one. Excellent. It's getting cold. We... We should grow our jackets. All right. You were missing the auxiliary. We should have. We should have brought our jacket. Perfect. The movie was boring. We shouldn't have watched it. We shouldn't have. Excellent. We shouldn't have watched it. Perfect. I don't we like them. Yeah, we, we should have. No, we shouldn't probably, we shouldn't have bought the ticket, right? Uh, but, uh, correct. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Daisy. I don't like uh, geography. 
I shall have a study math. Perfect. The kitchen is a mess. The kitchen is a mess. Steven should have clean, clean, clean it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Tommy isn't happy. Mm -hmm. Tommy isn't happy. I. I shouldn't have laughed at him. Perfect. It's too cold in here. It's too cold in here. You? You shouldn't open. Excellent. The you shouldn't open the window. You shouldn't have opened the window, right? Chocolate is better. I shouldn't have cho chose a strawberry. Okay. I shouldn't have chosen. Chosen. Perfect. Okay. Excellent, guys. All right. So now let's move and let's continue with the following, guys. Okay. Let's continue with the listening quiz. Yeah. So let's go to the, to the spreadsheet. Okay. Let's move there. And let me get it for you, okay? Probably um, I can get it for you. Let me see. Yes. Um, there you go. That one is the link. And the passcode is listening, okay, guys? Listening. That is the passcode. Let me know once you are in so I can play the recording. Let me see. Okay. All right, guys. Ready? Yes, miss. Okay. All right. So here we go. I'm going to play this audio probably three times. Okay. So you make sure to, to not send it. Okay. I, I will play it three times. So here we go. So, do you want to be a hero today? Well, there is a great need for blood donations around the world, and you can be the means of saving lives. According to the American Red Cross, over 40,000 blood donations are needed every single day in the United States alone. And without the help of volunteers like you, it is impossible to fill this need. About 9.2 million people donate every year in the U.S., and although approximately 38% of the population is eligible to donate, less than 10% of them actually do. Sometimes people don't donate out of fear, but the process is relatively simple, following a four-step process. Registering, getting your medical history checked, donating, and then having some refreshments. And once you donate, you have the ability to donate red blood cells every 56 days. So carefully consider becoming a hero today. Donate blood and you can save lives. Okay. Here we go again. So, do you want to be a hero today? Well, there is a great need for blood donations around the world and you can be the means of saving lives. According to the American Red Cross, over 40,000 blood donations are needed every single day in the United States alone. And without the help of volunteers like you, it is impossible to fill this need. About 9.2 million people donate every year in the U.S. And although approximately 38% of the population is eligible to donate, 
less than 10% of them actually do. Sometimes people don't donate out of fear, but the process is relatively simple, following a four-step process. Registering, getting your medical history checked, donating, and then having some refreshments. And once you donate, you have the ability to donate red blood cells every 56 days. So carefully consider becoming a hero today. Donate blood and you can save lives. Okay. The last sign, okay? So, do you want to be a hero today? Well, there is a great need for blood donations around the world, and you can be the means of saving lives. According to the American Red Cross, over 40,000 blood donations are needed every single day in the United States alone. And without the help of volunteers like you, it is impossible to fill this need. About 9.2 million people donate every year in the U.S., and although approximately 38% of the population is eligible to donate, less than 10% of them actually do. Sometimes people don't donate out of fear, but the process is relatively simple, following a four-step process. Registering, getting your medical history checked, donating, and then having some refreshments. And once you donate, you have the ability to donate red blood cells every 56 days. So carefully consider becoming a hero today. Donate blood and you can save lives. Okay, ready? Or no yet? Yes, okay. Send it, right? Okay. Mm, all right, so I can see that most of you got 100, okay? Very good. Okay, well done, guys. Let's move. And now we are going to take the grammar quiz, okay? So let's take the grammar quiz. Um, the one that says modal verbs practice. Those are only five questions, okay? But be careful. Try to read the context, okay? Fíjese en el context. Okay, let me send it. That is the link and the passcode is English 2023. Okay.
Okay, I got Claudia, I got Jonathan, Jose, Juan Jose. Okay, excellent. I, I can see that some of you got 100, okay? I see 80s, okay. Okay, guys, um, let's give two minutes, okay? Because the other ones are still working on it on this quiz. Okay, all right guys, so now let's move and what we're going to do, okay? We are going to take the one that is about the going to, okay? We need to make a review on that and let's see if you remember or if we need to reinforce that topic, okay? So there you go, that is the link and the passcode is the same, English 2023, okay? So I can see that model births, you got good scores. Okay.
Okay, so the ones are already finished. I'm going to move it to a different room, okay? And you need to start practicing speaking, yeah? So let me see. Okay, so let's see. Um, do we have Daisy here? Mariam, are you there? Carla, did you finish? Yes, but I can see the, <laughs> the room. Yes, okay. No right. lo mando. <laughs> yes, you couldn't see it. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, I see Wendy. George, did you finish? <coughs> yes, teacher. You did? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay. And let me see. Carlos Alberto. Let me see. Um, yeah, I see Marina. Daisy, are you there? In my case, I I think very I very good in the make a production plan. And you, for me, I think 
I am good at um tasting the products that we make in the factory. With my job. <laughs> okay, and you Jorge? Hello, Juan, are you there? Oh, Hello? yeah, oh, you're driving. Yes, um, I have to go out for a few minutes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry, Juan. Solo que quizás comentarle esto. A veces tengo que ir a traer a, a un familiar al trabajo más o menos a esta hora y me tardo como unos 10 o 15 minutos cada vez que me llama y a veces a veces me agarra haciendo alguna actividad o esto verdad pero ok don't worry ok no se preocupe ok ok, okay. okay. thank you ok thank you Hello, Bernardo. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent. All right, Bernardo. I would like to practice with you, okay? Okay. So um, let me ask you, how do you think your colleagues will describe you? I think my colleagues describe me, describe me like a serious person, mm -hmm. responsible, um, a uh, good worker. Okay. All right. Uh, and okay, so what are you good at in your job? Can you tell me some of your skills? Hmm, yes, teacher. I I am good at uh, testing products. Mm -hmm. I am good at overseeing uh, a process. Mm -hmm. Um, it's difficult to say in English. <laughs> the The vocabulary is is strange, but um. Where do you see synonyms? <laughs> okay, I am good checking. And a specific uh, function of some products in my in my factory, mm -hmm. my in my job. Yes, uh, I think. All right. So, tell me at least three things that you have learned in the last five years. Three things. Mm -hmm. I have learned how to talk with people when they how do you say reclamar when they complain when they complain some products okay i have learned to take the hardness of the steel okay i have learned the processes of forging Products. All right. Mm -hmm. I have learned uh, about painting. Okay. That's good. All right. So now um can you tell me can you tell me about an object that is special for you and why is it special? An object? Yeah. 
the that is special huh? i don't have a special object i am uh how do you say apegado probably uh, um that you are not apegado a algo uh, see. Uh, yes okay. I, I don't have feelings about things mm -hmm. i i i can have something but if i don't have later i don't have it later uh, it doesn't matter yes you can say that you are not attached attached uh -huh. okay so nothing special um, no 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 mm -hmm. but okay. i have mm -hmm. some things that i like much uh, for example my computer okay i like it because i i do much things on that i can work i can watch some videos i can watch movies i can play it i can hear music but if it broke it doesn't matter all right so and what do you do to relax Hmm. relaxing yeah i like to ride my bike and go outside i like to listen to music i like to play videos on youtube sometimes i i read a book but okay. i have uh, some time that i haven't read i haven't read them. Okay, so what type of videos do you really enjoy? Videos. Right now I am looking for cooking videos. Okay. For Asian food. Oh, really? Yes. All right, oh. so the, the seasoning is kind of, I would say, exotic, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right. And can you tell me what do you really like about your job? The thing that I most love uh -huh. in my job is that I do each day is different. Uh -huh. I don't do the same thing every day. Every day I have to do different things and I love that. Okay. All right. And what, in your opinion, are the characteristics of a good friend? The most important for me is the loyalty. Okay. Because that person always tell, will, tell, will tell you the truth. The and truth. And it doesn't matter if it is bad or good okay all right then if you could travel anywhere in the world where would you go and why i want to travel to chile mm -hmm. uh, and to sweden to chile i want to travel because i I have friends there and they recommend me to go. And in Sweden is my cousin and he invited me to go there. Excellent. Okay. So you should go, right? Okay. And how did you celebrate last Christmas? I celebrated with my family. I reunite in my parents' house. And we bake uh, chicken. Mm -hmm. We made panes rellenos. Okay. We All made right. panes. Eh, we, no sé cómo se dice. I don't know how to say. Mm -hmm. eh, cohetes. Mm, probably you burned uh, some fireworks. Okay, we burned fireworks. Eh, my sister and me with the children. Okay, all right. We didn't sleep. 
And, and you slept, right? Okay. No, we no? didn't. No. Nope. You didn't? No, we didn't. Uh, the after the after the the child slept, uh -huh. we sat in the living room and served coffee and talked until the morning. That is cool. Okay. That's perfect. All right. And how do you think the internet has changed the way people learn English? How? Uh, with the internet, we have the we have easy to easily to learn. Example, mm -hmm. me right now, I mm -hmm. don't have to go to some place. I am learning from my house and uh, the I forgot how to say horario. The schedule. And the schedule is very flexible. Uh, I can do many things and learn at night. Uh, it's it's more easy. It's easier. It's easier to learn with that feeling of comfortable. Okay. All right. So and so in this case, you prefer online classes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yes, I think that is uh, better, right? Because you don't need to probably move from one place to another one. And basically you save uh, time because right now traffic is terrible, right? Mm -hmm. And do you like to shop? No, I don't like to shop because I, I leave all my money in the stores. <laughs> Well, but in this case, <laughs> what type of things do you like shopping? I like to shop uh, ele electronic things. Okay. All right. Headsets, phones, computer. Okay. I I I, I, I get I don't have control with uh where when I am in that kind of stores. All right. So. Mm -hmm. So you, you love to buy technological gadgets, probably, right? Yes. Things like those. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. And what sports do you like? Ooh. I think I, I love almost all the sports. I okay. practice uh, cycling, tennis, basketball, mm -hmm. softball. athleticism okay all right judo you you love most of the sports probably <laughs> yes okay and do you practice them i practice all i mentioned really yeah uh, yes okay not not in a formal way but i i play them okay that is good i think okay so um okay so, Jose, can you tell me how you imagine your life this time next year? Mm, I imagine complete some completing some mm -hmm. goals. Uh, the first one is this course okay learning and practicing more more english mm -hmm. um getting a mm, how do you say upgrade up, right, i think in my job okay uh like a promotion a promotion to, yeah promotion to get promoted okay perfect all right so and what would you have done if you had ten thousand dollars last year? What would you have done with that amount of money last year? Mm, maybe I had bought a house. I will have, uh -huh. 
I would have bought a house. A house. A house. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Jose, so I'm going to move you to another room so you can still practice with your partners. I just wanted to practice with you. I'm going to bring someone else, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Hi, Emerson. Hello, Miss. Hello, Hello, how are you? Very fine. All right. So, Emerson, I would like to practice with you. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, okay? So, just for us to practice, yeah? Okay. So, Emerson, can you tell me about an object that is special for you and why is it special? Mm -hmm. My object favorite is my cell phone because okay. I use it for my work mm -hmm. in the place. Yes. Okay. And do you like to shop? Mm -hmm. Not really. Not really? Okay. No. All right. And can you tell me how did you celebrate Christmas last year? Well, I celebrate the last Christmas and half of my mom with my other family, my wife, my son. My, yes, pretty fine. Okay, what's good? Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Good. Okay. So, and what do you do to relax? Usually, I. I play chess for relax. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, and can you tell me what do you really like about your job? Hmm. In general, I, I like my work. Mm -hmm. Because, but the thing I love it is learning about the, the normal internationals for performance, the product. Okay. Is that. All right. Okay. So then if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I like to go to the Egypt. Egypt? For the okay. the yes. Okay. The Nova the PM. Yeah, I like. Okay, it. all right, and okay, Emerson. What, in your opinion, are the characteristics of a good friend? Um, loyalty. Loyalty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. How do you say how do you say in English? Considerado. I think that it could be understandable. Understandable, yes. Understandable. Okay. All right. Perfect. And the last question is the following. What would you have done if you had ten thousand dollars last year? Go to the trip. Oh, really? Go to the okay. trip around the world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, yes, all right. To relax, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. This is the dream of the old people, I imagine. Okay, yeah, that would be great, right? Okay, so I'm going to move you to another room so you can still practice with your friends, okay? But right now, uh, that's it, okay? Just let me call somebody else. Thank you, Emerson. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. Hello, Carla. Hello. All right. So I would like to practice with you, okay? I will ask you a couple of questions just to practice, okay? 
So Carla, can you tell me, um, can you tell me about an object that is special for you and why is it special? Well, object. An object. Mm. <laughs> Maybe a pilot. <laughs> uh, ¿Cómo sería call it? No. Uh, name is RJ. <laughs> okay. Is, but okay, is that an object? An yes. Object? Really? Yes. Is a pilot? No. Peluche. Oh no, it, it is a, a, a teddy, a teddy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. It is it like a teddy bear? No, it's a alpaca. <laughs> Got it. Why is it special? Como? Why is it special? Oh, because um I spend money. <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it's a um, ¿cómo sería? colección um, it is um, coleccionable, ¿verdad? ajá uh -huh. ok, uh, I think that is coleccionable coleccionable yeah coleccionable Okay, so yes, oh, yes, it is a special. Okay, I, I now understand why, okay? All right, so then tell me, um, what do you do in your free time, Carla? Mm. I watch, watch the series in Netflix. Oh, really? Uh, sleep. And sleep. sleep and clean the clean the house. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Not, not, not done free time. <laughs> yeah, you don't have like that uh much, right? But okay. So what are you going to do at the weekend? Do you have any plans? Yes, I I'm going to no sé, I'm going to go to San Salvador. See? Oh yes, because you are from San Miguel, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I have a little business. Was it? Yeah. I make I make this shit personalis, personalis, personalized. Personalized. Personal. And I have a I deliver. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay, so yes. Uh, do you come to, to San Salvador that often or no? Mm, in these years, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So I think that, um, okay, that is good because you travel, right? And you enjoy the trip, I think, right? Yes. yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the last question is the following. What would you have done if you had had ten thousand dollars last year? Mm, Maybe a uh, get a, a reservation for a house. <laughs> Oh, really? For something house, maybe. Okay. All right. Yes, of course, right? A new house. Okay. Perfect, Carl. Okay. So that was it. Okay. I just wanted to practice with you. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Let's go back. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, so, Carla, can you tell me how do you think your colleagues will describe you? Or not your colleagues, your friends, right? People that are around you. How would they describe you? 
Um, I think my friend will describe me a, with responsibility. Okay. And made something cold. <laughs> okay. And friendly. Friendly, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. What about you? Uh, let me see, Jose, how do you think your colleagues would describe you? Uh, I think that they can tell that I am serious. I, I am funny too, I'm responsible, a good worker. I think just that. Okay. And you, Emerson, how do you think your colleagues will describe you? Um, I think they say I am uh, polite, okay, honest, and a good work worker. Okay. All right. Um, Jonathan, are you there? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm here. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. How do you think your colleagues would describe you? Okay, it's an interesting question. I think I'm a little talkative or, uh, or and sociable, maybe. All right. And can mm -hmm. you tell me what are you good at in your job? Me? Yes. I think um, I, am, I am organized. Okay, I'm organized. Okay. And organized. And I think I can keep in mind or memory a lot of information that I need to to uh to know every day. Okay, memorized. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And what would you have done if you had had ten thousand dollars last year? Me too. Okay, in my in my room, I say um, probably uh, travel to a, around the world. Okay, and where would you have gone? Mm, let me maybe Spain. Spain. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So thank you, Jonathan. Just because of the time, guys, we are going to stop right here. Thank you very much for being responsible and connected today. Uh, the only person that please stay with me, Jonathan, okay? Stay with me. Then the other ones, you may go ahead and rest, guys. I hope you have a good night. Take care, and I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Good night, Hi, teacher. Good night. good night, guys. Good night. Okay, so Jonathan, we are going to have a short feedback, okay, just for us to know um, your experience through this module, okay. Um, first of all, I would like to know about your background. I mean, when it comes to the English language, right? I would like to know if you have studied with us previously or if this is the first time that you are studying with us. And if not, um, I would like to know how um, do you think the learning process has been for you, right? So when it comes to English. Okay, um, this, this course is my first course in this, uh, this program. Okay. <clears throat> uh, but I started after, I started before in another, uh, in another academy. Uh, I study. Um, let me five or or six years ago in the uh, El Salvador University, oh. and um, for me uh, the the method of the of the class is is correct is is very. I don't know what the, how can I say? Um, it's useful? Yes, it's, it's useful, it's, it's very um, educativo. 
because okay. because because all the process uh, you you give up uh, you give us a lot of example uh, uh, you give us time to to process the the grammar mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, it's uh, we have time to to the feedback to the topic so I I think that the, the method of the or uh, how is aborted the class is perfect for me. Okay. The platform is uh, very friendly. Okay. It's not difficult to to understand. Okay. So I think uh, all the courses is, is is very useful for 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 me and uh, currently in my job is not useful, but but I don't know in the future. Yes. Okay. Perfect, Jonathan. Okay. So then, let me ask you: What do you do in your free time? What are the activities that you like doing? Well, um, I don't have uh, a lot of free time a day, mm -hmm. but uh, during the week, I like to to uh, to listen to music mm -hmm. uh, on Spotify. Uh, why uh, I take the lunch? I I like to 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 watch a a cup of uh, of my series, my favorite okay. series. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the weekend, uh, I like to to know uh, another new places. Maybe yeah, maybe to a restaurant. Okay. Or, or, or wherever another place in the mountains or the or the beach. All right. Okay. So you 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 like to visit different uh, places. Okay. All right. So Jonathan, uh, can you tell me about an object that is special for you and why is it special? Um, object is special. Yes. Well, I uh, I want to. Uh, when I finish the process of all this course or all this program, yeah. I want to study um, a master. All right. And, and I want to prepare to, to give another uh, opportunity, maybe uh, in this country or, como se dice extranjero? Or abroad. Or abroad, yeah. Perfect. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. But in this case, Jonathan, um, do you have any type of possession, like an object that you really love? An object, for example, your cell phone, your laptop, or something? No. Mm, let me. Uh, well, I recently I bought um. Well, I I paid a quote. I don't know is 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 the is the is the correct word? Okay. Quotas. I don't know. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I paid a, uh, I paid a, a quote monthly. Mm -hmm. That I bought a, a little terreno. No sé cómo cómo se dice terreno. Okay. So quota, you can say it fee. Okay. Fee. Okay. A fee. And okay. terreno, you can say uh, a piece of land. Okay, a piece of land. So, uh, because uh, always I have a dream that I get a, a, a piece of land and then building my house. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, that is cool, right? Mm -hmm. So you are working for your dream. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, all right. So t tell me, how do you celebrate Christmas last year? Uh, okay. It's not, not very special mm -hmm. uh, because um, I, I don't visit it. Uh, another period. Mm -hmm. I, I, I sorry, I didn't. I did, yeah, I didn't visit another 
another parents. I only I only stayed in the in the house uh, in the in the my girlfriend family. Mm -hmm. And the end of year, uh, we we stay in my house with my family. So I only I only uh, ate um, pan con pavo. No sé cómo, cómo yes, yes. Uh -huh. Turkey and bread. Yeah, yeah, turkey and bread. So it's not. Uh, uh, we didn't have a, a party. No, it's, it's, it was only a little meeting. Okay. With, with my special group only. Okay. Well, okay, perfect. I think that you did it very special, right? Because only with your special ones. All right, perfect. So let me ask you then, what do you prefer? Online classes or classroom classes and why? Okay. Mm. Last years ago, my answer could be uh, presencial. Okay. Because I think my method to, to learn is, is, is with the contact. Mm -hmm. it's with the contact, uh, write the sentences, uh, draw in the, in the, in the sheets, um, work with work uh, with worship but i think uh my opinion changed um, after the pandemic okay so so i i think um, this method is 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 very useful um, and i think uh using all the tools mm -hmm. uh, could be received the same uh, nivel. Uh, level? Level, yeah, level of, of, of knowledge that if you stay in presencial class, I think. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, thank you. Well, that's pretty much what I needed to ask you, right? I, I, I wanted to practice with you. So now, uh, Jonathan, um, my feedback for you, okay? So I, I'm really happy that you think that the method and the classes are really useful for you, right? So I think that that is something positive. Now, uh, I have noticed that once uh, you get the opportunity, you participate, right? And, and I have noticed that whenever we are in the breakout rooms and you are with your classmates, you are always participating, right? So I really like that because as you mentioned before, I think that, yes, you are friendly, right? So I think that that is really good. And um, maybe, okay, maybe what I could mention is that I need you to, to be uh, like every single class, right? In every single class, because I can see that uh, sometimes you cannot probably connect, right? Or I'm not sure if it is because of your job right, or, or no, but in this case, I would like you to try to, to be, if you cannot like participate during the class, but at least try to connect, okay, and, and, and let me know, teacher, I cannot participate today, I'm going to be as a listener, but I'm going to be here, right, this is for you to have the attendance, right, because at the end of the program, you need to have at least 80%, because if you don't have the 80%, so um, in this case, you will have kind of inconveniences, right? So, and I don't want you to have this type of things. So if you cannot like participate during the class, try to connect from your cell phone and try to be there, okay? Just because of the attendance, but let me know, all right? Okay, then um, thank you very much then uh, for being really friendly and, and to try to participate whenever we have the breakout rooms, okay, practice. So I think that the only thing is that, right, try to be uh, like in every single class. And well, that's pretty much, right. I'm really happy that you don't have any issues with the platform either, right? So that's something good as well. And well, I don't know if you have any other question, any other doubt. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, I want to improve my 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 vocabulary, and yeah. 
I don't know if you have another book that can I can I to read it maybe? That you can read it? Yeah. Um yes, I, I have many books. I also have many links that probably can help you out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to send those tomorrow. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Perfect. But I will go ahead and send them. Uh, I will send some links for you to practice listening, reading, grammar, if you want to take some quizzes, right? So, yes, I will do it. Okay? Thank you. Perfect, Jonathan. So, thank you very much for being responsible. Then I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay? Thank you. Have a good night. Take care, Jonathan. See you. Okay.